Insights with Terry Coots, a weekly look through the eyes of predictive astrologer Terry Coots. Here's Terry. Hi, everyone. This is Terry, and you're listening to Insights with Terry Coots. Thank you for joining me for the week of March the 19th through the 26th. Summer solstice coming on the 21st of March. Very, very powerful time, as well as it turns into spring. So hopefully the weather will be paying attention to what us humans think will be spring. <laughs> I hope so. I'm having a, a time with my poor little chickens and ducks. They're, they molted with that warm weather, trying to get ready for their summer coat, but they have no clothes on. So when it gets cold like it is today, I feel like I should be knitting little sweaters for the chickens and the ducks. I put little heat lights in there and hope that they'll hang around them, but chickens are unruly. I feel so bad for them. I couldn't imagine being outside at night with no clothes on. Oh, and I don't know how animals do it. Talk about fortitude, really. So we're still in the Pisces in the sun sign, kids, and we still have Pisces and Mercury, how we think, how we communicate. That still gives us that creativity of Pisces being able to maybe sit in the chair, sit on the lawn, sit on your front porch in the sun, the back porch, out in the bush, and try to create in your mind a scenario that you need. Is it to lessen your anxiety? Is it to lessen the worry? Is it to create a beautiful picture that leaves you feeling calm? Is it to try to look at some of the issues that you have in your life and your family's life and seeing it resolve in a way that you feel is good for everybody, giving room for the, you know, the powers that be uh, to inter fear or to interject maybe a different way to handle it. So it's about being flexible because Pisces is a water sign. Flexible with maybe what the universe has in mind for us as opposed to what we do, but seeing our creative mind aligning with the universe. And I, I think I always would support my universe's judgment over my own. Although the more you work with it, the more that becomes one and the same. It's really funny. When you get into that flowing thing, what the universe wants for you and what you want become very, very much the same path. So it's really amazing. We'll be moving into Aries on the 29th in the sun sign and also Aries in Mercury on the 20th. Now Aries is a fire sign, so we'll be going from a water sign to a fire sign. So that can create some passion. It can create some anger, some short tempers. We have to kind of be attentive to that. Um, am I being short? Am I, am I, is my fuse lit and smoldering all the time? Look at yourself. Also, identify for the people around you. Don't say it, <laughs> but they may be feeling a little short too. You don't want to add fuel to the fire. You could add water uh, and that could make steam and that would be very powerful, but um, maybe not say it because this could be a time that we all ignite very easy. Now that makes me a little uncomfortable, I have to say, um, because there are so many people that are already uh, smoldering. So when you add that, it, it can become combustible. So maybe you, being that you're listening to this, you're evolved, you're searching, you're learning, you're growing, you're trying to do the best that you can. And so maybe with your wisdom and your knowledge, you can take some of that water from Pisces and sprinkle it gently on your smoldering people and not make that combustible and turn into an all-out forest fire and possibly maybe come to some really nice agreements and some really nice uh, goals that you could set. So this Aries energy, fiery as it is, is impulsive and so and also ready to start something, ready to go and do it. So this, I'm looking forward to this, that energy of let's get the vacuuming done. Come on, let's go out and paint the barn. Huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let, let's go level out all the, the gravel in the driveway. So this, this energy can be used and dedicated to what you want the projects to be or where you want it to go. And you've had all this Pisces time to create that field for yourself. So don't lose this. And remember that Aries is ruled by Mars and Mars is that energy of passion that we 
uh, what we're passionate about. So this is a really good time to find out what are you passionate about? What is it you would sell your soul for? What would you cross hot coals for or a desert? So this is the time that we need to know about it and then put that into focus. Venus, the planet of love, beauty, and attraction, is now in Taurus. Now, here's, here's the kicker. Taurus is strong. Taurus is, is solid. It's a good solid energy, likes security, likes to be safe. That's all good. The kicker is, is the ruling planet of Taurus is Venus. Venus likes things and likes really high quality things. So this is the time if we're ever going to overspend or be silly with our financial resources, this is the time we do it. So kids, watch your pocketbook. Be careful where you divert your money. Is it something that you really, really want or are you just filling a hole? Are you spending too much? Do you really need that? Um, does it have to be the quality that you're searching for? So just be careful. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying be careful because we seem to want the leather jacket that is X number of dollars as opposed to the maybe downfill jacket that's a third the price of that leather jacket. Both would keep you warm. What's necessary at this time of maybe a little bit of rising prices that we're finding a little stretchy. So just be careful of that, but it's a great energy for determination and getting your security in line and wanting to feel safe and doing the things that you need to do to feel safe. That's perfect. Mars is still in Gemini, that energy that searches and really wants to uh, find things out and, and try new foods and try new hobbies. All of that is amazing. Now, it, I find with Gemini and Mars, it's I like to try new new books, new friends, new experiences, new new everything. And it makes a curiosity that is just amazing for you. So don't dampen that curiosity. Let it flow. I just brought in two new rescue puppies and a friend of mine, uh, she, took, she took two. She's going to bring one back. Um, and we're going to foster them until we find the perfect home. They're cattle dogs, if you know of anybody. By the time they go, they'll be leash broken, crate trained, house broken, know their name, come when called. Uh, but the one puppy I named Google because he's into everything. He's got to have his nose in everything. He wants to find this out. What's underneath there? Where? What are you doing? What are you doing over here? What's in your pocket? What's underneath that shoe? So that's the energy that Gemini is with Mars, is I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. Maybe there's some things we shouldn't know. Now on the 26th of this month, it turns from Gemini to Cancer, which is loving and kind. Again, a water sign. We have to be a little careful because Mars is a fire sign naturally, and there's a water sign in it. And Aries, Aries is fire sign. So we don't want to burn off all of our water, but as I said in the beginning, you add a little water to fire and you can create steam. I can cook five pounds of potatoes in a pressure cooker in five minutes with fire and steam. A little bit of water. Too much water, you put the fire out. Not enough water, we burn the pot and have to buy another one. So you want to balance with that. But it's compassion, it's love, it's kindness, it's caring. So hopefully that will smooth out some of the anger, short fuse kind of energy in the front part of the chart. So that that's a good thing. The number that was given to us this week is the number two. Number two is tolerant. Number two is supposed to be kind. Number two is balance too. It's even. It also supports good intuition. So that we can always use, especially with Pisces leaving us soon. It supports us wanting and able to listen to others with patience and to learn the art of diplomacy. So many of us, myself included, have lost until I saw some politicians that don't have diplomacy and I see how raw and impolite it is. So now I think diplomacy definitely has some place in our society. The people that do not um, own the number two or fight against it or out of sync will lack the courage to implement their plans. And then the 
often will leave that initiative to other people and then complain that it didn't go the way they wanted it to, but they weren't involved. So watch for that kind of an energy. So this is an energy too with that cancer pairing up for us and the number two that will really want us to have devotion. We will want to be and feel devoted to other people and we will want that back for ourselves. I guess that's why I love the dog so much. <laughs> it's because they're so devoted to me. Uh, if I want to watch Netflix, that's fine. If I want to watch Prime Video, that's fine. If they're laying where I want to lay, they'll move over for me. I'll move over for them. But to be loved the way my 15 love me is a feeling I can't describe. And the cats and the ducks and the turkeys. When they see me, they come running. And sometimes the ducks will fall on their beaks and I laugh at them. <laughs> so this is a time that we will really want to be loved by the things and the people around us. So if you're in a work situation and you see somebody being picked on, go help. Go talk to them. Help them to feel valued and valuable. We all will need it during this time, especially with that number two pushing that. We will have an ability to reconcile people and with people who we were in dispute with. That's what number two does. It's an even balanced number. And it helps us to work towards successfully cooperating with others. Boy, you can't get better than this. I mean, really, if we put this into play, yay us. <laughs> now, it goes the other way if we're on the other side of the coin. So the weakness would be clinging to our property, clinging to people. That's the weakness of number two. It's the out of balance number two. We'd be bothered by small problems. We might be passive. We might give in to circumstances when we're not supposed to. So beware of subordination. Beware of hypersensitivity. And beware of people that poorly cope with stress. They become distracted. We might too. And nervous. And not feel the peace and the quiet around us. Avoiding any kind of leadership whatsoever and responsibility. That's the weakness of number two. So we definitely want to avoid that, but we need to be aware of it. Now, as far as health goes, the middle of the week, we're looking at possibly head issues because Aries is ruling. Uh, teeth, uh, sinuses, uh, upper respiratory, your tongue, arteries, so if you get migraines, be careful. They'll float around. I can feel it. I don't get migraines, but I can feel the pressure. Towards the end of the week, it will migrate down towards the neck, the vocal cords, the throat, your thyroid. If you have any issues with your thy thyroid, be it right on top of that. And with the vocal cords, I know from past experience that that's when I struggle with my voice. And... Uh, um, wish that I didn't because I talk for a living. I talk for entertainment too. <laughs> so we have all of that ahead of us, folks. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. That's the biggest thing that you can give somebody. And thanks to Charlie O'Brien. Big, big, big thanks. He has put us on Spotify, on Apple iTunes, on Amazon Music, on SoundCloud, and YouTube. He gives me the link, and I will put that link up for you on YouTube, uh, on, on Facebook, also on the website that he has created, and is really good if you need a website, www.terryworld.com. That's T-E-R-R-I world, W-O-R-L-D.com. He's archived four or five of the last podcasts if you want to catch up. Uh, on some of the weekly podcasts that we put out there. And he has a GoFundMe page for the Big 8. He's got an amazing radio show. So if you're uh, inclined at all, if you wouldn't mind helping out keeping him on, he's really reaching his goal. So that's Charlie O'Brien GoFundMe. I'll also put that link up on Facebook on my page. And uh, if you're inclined, it would really be gratefully accepted. So thanks. If you need a reading for yourself, for me to personalize it, my text or call 519-726-6699 or you can email me at terri dot c-o-u-t-t-s at gmail.com. We'll be starting some group lessons pretty soon. That, that uh, 
field out there will be starting to dry up. So we'll be getting the puppies out there for their training, for obedience and any behavior issues. I do private uh, lessons for the people all year long. So don't be afraid to take advantage of me and uh, give me a shout and maybe get your puppy out there having fun with all the other puppies and, and adult dogs that need to play and run and just be dogs in a safe setting. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great week. Hopefully we'll talk next week. Bye for now. Thanks for listening to Insights with Terry Coots. Visit Terry's website at terryworld.com. T-E-R-R-I world.com.